In this video, I will share the product list for acrylic extensions for beginner. Let's get started. The best thing that you can do if you decided to do acrylic extensions, whether you want to do them for yourself or you decided to become a professional, you can buy a beginner or a starter kit. Many brands offer such kits and usually it's pretty a good deal because it has everything that you need in a very small jars. But sometimes they're missing a very essential part, such as I saw one kit and they don't have acrylic brush. How can you do acrylic nails without the brush? So that's why I decided to give you the minimum list of the products you will need. And even if you will decide to buy a kit, you will know whether it has everything that you need. Or you can also buy them separately. First and the most important part, which is basically acrylic itself, is monomer, also known as acrylic liquid, and polymer, which is powder. When shopping for monomer, you need to look the first ingredient in the list should be ethyl methacrylate. If it's methyl methacrylate, then I would not recommend you to buy that one. So powder is another component and they have different colors. Sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's cover pink, and they also can have different colors that you can imagine. So I would recommend to buy sheer pink if you're planning to do just nails and then apply nail polish on them. Or if you like a natural look, then you might be interested in cover pink. But the most important thing is that monomerine powder should be of the same brand. For example, I have super nail monomer, so I will take super nail powder, so I will be sure that they will work together and I will not experience any problems. Or if I will decide to take Valentino nail liquid, I will take Valentino powder. Now we will also need a deepened dish. This can be any kind of dish, basically the small size, and it is better if it's made of glass or metallic. I would not recommend to buy any plastic deepened dish because the monomer can actually melt it and it will always look untidy. Also, we will need acrylic brush. And good quality acrylic brushes are pretty expensive, but you do not need this if you're just getting started. So I would recommend to take size between 6 to 8. They also have different shapes, such as oval or round, but it doesn't really matter at the beginning. What matters is the material they are made of, so I would recommend Kalinsky brush. Usually the most affordable ones are with wooden handle, so wooden handle 6 to 8 size will be perfect. Just make sure that it has a really sharp and symmetrical edge. To prep nails, we will need dehydrator and primer. They have different names in different brands. Sometimes it's just pH Bond, Bonder, Bondex, Pre-Primer, Nail Enhancer. They have different names. And then we have primer. They also have different names, but usually they have the word primer on the label. And primers have two different types. They're acid and non-acid. So for acrylic system, you can use both dehydrator and primer. To make nails long, we need something. So it can be forms, which I mostly use, or you can also use tips. And tips come in different uh, sizes and colors. They can be clear, natural, or white. If you're planning to cover nails with color, it doesn't really matter, so clear will work for you. But with the tips, you will also need a nail glue. To prep the nail, push back the cuticles, clean the color and do many, many other things, you will need an orange wood stick. You can also use the professional tool such as pusher, but orange wood stick is pretty good one and I recommend you to buy the 50 pieces pack because you will need them for many things you are going to do with nails. After you apply the product, probably on your first time it will not be as perfect, so you will need to file and shape the nails. And to do this, we will need 180 degree to prep the natural nail and to file acrylic as well. I also recommend to take 150 or even 100 grit file, which you will need to file the nail. After you file it and you want to smooth it all out to make it super smooth and nice, you will need buffer. They come in different colors, sizes and shapes as well. And at the beginning, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Just make sure that the grid is between 180 to 280 grit. To clean all this dust after you 
file them, you will need a brush. And there are some special nail brushes, but actually you can use any brush, for example, some old brush from the makeup, just to swipe off the dust. Acrylic is air cured. It is not light cured, so you will not need LED or UV lamp to cure it. That means that you can use a regular nail polish top coat to seal it and to have the nails with a high shine. So you can use any top coat. But if you happen to have LED lamp already, then you can use gel top coat or even do gel overlay. Unlike hard gel, acrylic can be socked off. So to remove them, you will need acetone or I recommend some special liquid such as glue off by Super Nail and foil and cotton. So you just wrap them around your fingers, saturate the cotton with the liquid and this is how you can sock off the nails. So this was a minimum list of the products that you need to do acrylic extensions. If you plan to do it professionally, you will need much more things starting from electric nail drill and many, many color acrylics and other stuff. But for the beginning, I think this is more than enough. And if you want to have more detailed list with each product that I recommend, you can download it for free at our website. I will leave the link down below. All you need to do is just to register and then you can download it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you would like me to continue this beginner series and what else would you like to learn. I post videos every week, so do not forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.